It's just gone 1am in the morning and I'm about to begin my first of many challenges. Some coffee to keep me going. <laughs> um, so today it's more positioning for my first challenge. Um, the idea is I wanted to get in a bit of practice before I actually begin my challenge. Um, so 1am. I'm going to be heading to catch my Heathrow flight in a moment. Um, that leaves at 6.30 a.m. I could have just woke up and got a cab at 4 a.m. <laughs> but um, I've decided to take the long way and night bus it, especially as there's no night troops on today, so I've definitely got a night bus it the whole way. And sadly, I've got to contend with some bus strikes as well, so um, I'm having to go a bit of a long way round. Ideally, if it all works fine, I should be at Heathrow by 4.30, um, two hours before my flight, plenty of time to just chill, relax, and then onwards with the rest of my journey. Made it to Sutton Town Centre, just waiting for the N44 to take me now into London. Um, funnily enough, nearly didn't even make it this far. I was, uh, I'm wearing all red, and blue, quite visible I thought, and uh, put my hand out for the previous bus and the driver drove past me <laughs> and then seen me, I looked at him as he went by and then he pulled up over a bit further so I had to jog to catch it, but yeah, grateful he pulled over at least to catch me. Got about a 10 minute wait now and then uh, an hour on the bus. Made it to Victoria, just waiting for an onwards connection um, bus. Uh, and then my final bus, which is a long night bus all the way to Terminal 5. And I think here comes my bus. Now in High Park, just waiting for my final connection, which should take me all the way to Heathrow Terminal 5 worked out quite smoothly and I'm not feeling actually very tired so the coffee's definitely worked in waking me up and uh, just got to survive this one and a half hour bus journey or maybe just over an hour actually. And here I am, I've arrived at Terminal 5. Um, I didn't really get any footage on the bus mainly because it was actually very busy and I ended up sitting on the aisle seat and it was busy the whole way. But my god, I wasn't expecting part way through. I started seeing this liquid running down towards where my bag was. Oh my god. And I was like, what is that? Just in time, I pulled it up. And I uh, put it into... Oh, onto my lap at that stage. Um, but yeah, it looks like... I was a bit concerned what it was. But it looks like the guy a few seats ahead of me had vomited and been sick. And they'd also dropped his Red Bull. Thank god it wasn't pissed. But yeah... That certainly kept me awake for the second half of the journey, trying to keep my feet away from whatever that liquid was. But yeah, at Heathrow now. It took about uh, 3 hours 15 to get here. Um, so yeah, up to departures. Got through security in a breeze. Um, it's just turning five o'clock. Um, duty free is just opening, but everything else around here is currently closed. I'm going to go up to the lounge. Um, I should be able to get access to it and it opens up at five.
just had some food and uh, relaxed a little bit, a little tea, coffee. Now about to board my flight. I've arrived in Dublin. Uh, my flight was actually delayed by about 45 minutes, but they caught up some time, so I've arrived a half hour late. Um, my coach is the white one just behind me there, heading all the way to Galway. I think actually I'm only halfway through now, my whole entire journey. Um, so it's 8.30, no, nearly nine o'clock now, and I won't be arriving at my final destination till near four o'clock, considering I was left at 1.30. So, yeah, let's get on this coach and hopefully I can get on it in this space and also get some sleep, I think. Arrived in Galway. I'm at the coach station here. Um, just over three hours. Very windy and rainy on the journey here, but I, I slept for most of it. Um, I'm feeling much, much better for that. I've got about two hours to kill now. Um, I did allow sort of leeway on this. I'm glad I did because delayed flight and then the coach was a bit late because of all the rain. Um, but what to do with my time? I think I'm going to find a pub to go to. So I've just treated myself to three pints, new pints to me, in uh, 1520, a bar in Galway in the Latin Quarter. Um, I was looking to go to, um, I think, the Galway uh, hooker-owned pub called Salt something. Uh, I walked there, it was closed. So ended up just having to make do with, well, the bar that I walked into, which is quite decent. They had a, a few Galway hooker beers on, and uh, obviously I got to try Island's Edge from Heineken. Yeah, it's not that great. And then the barman even himself said they had a year contract, and uh, it's the lowest selling beer. They're going to get rid of it. But right now, I'm making my way towards my coach, or little shuttle bus, that's going to take me to Connemara Airport, to then make my eight minute flight. I think it may be 15 minutes, but let's see. To my final destination. Right, it's really cold out here. See you in a moment. Well, it's starting to rain here again um, after a lovely scenic journey, although busting for a piss part way through due to my drinks. Um, I've arrived at the airport. 
I've just actually gone to check in and funnily enough, since I walked in, they were like, Liam, right? And I was like, yeah, all right. The only stranger on the, uh, <laughs> at the place here. Um, they weighed my bag and they weighed me as well. It's that sort of plane where I need to know the actual weight. Um, the flight is, they say, only eight minutes. Um, so I'm literally just going to walk in and uh, I've seen the plane just land. So it's about to leave in a few minutes. Uh, a few more people still arriving. I'm not sure how big the plane is, I think it may be 12 people. Well, about to find out. Onwards. So it turns out that wasn't my flight. Um, they called a few people in that came with me on the same bus, but either a different island or they're just mixing it by weight. Let's see this plane take off. Cool. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you. I've just uh, landed on my flight on the Air Aaron. Um, only four of us, including Charles, quite empty. But yeah, really good flight. It's raining here. Um, I think I've got to walk the rest of the way from here. Got nothing planned. So yeah, bit of rain drizzle. 
20 minute walk, all good. I'm just going to say the weather may be crap, but bloody hell, this is lovely. I mean, the sea looks to be out, um, so there's a big bay area, and then over in the distance, I don't think you'll see that at all, there's ferocious waves. Looks really nice, although there is wind and rain, in case you're not picking up on the sound. I think the sound may be muffling that, but... Definitely, I'm feeling it. There's the main tower which I need to dip to. I'm all the way over here. <laughs> Bit of a walk. But, I mean, I've got the first thing that you walk in. Um, and, with the raining, it's all good. It's all good. I'll actually pull the head over a bit better. Protects me from some of that rain. <laughs> yeah, it smells lovely. Some people are burning. Pete, he's reminding me of like Isla in Scotland. Lovely smell. I say the tide's out, so you can see some of the the Bay Area. Or a lovely little uh in fishing area just head there, but it's lovely. On the walk that I've got to go, it seems to be like housing literally on the way along the road. And I'm looking here and I can see the housing and it's all the way along, so I'm assuming that's exactly where I'm going on the range. Yeah, because this place is burning. It, uh, this place is burning oil. It's a dark, I can't remember. It's smelling like oil. Yeah, this place is burning oil. But we're going to get to our place like four o'clock. So that means it's going to be a uh, 14 and a half hour journey. Got a bit of sleep on the coach. Maybe two hours. Otherwise, no sleep otherwise. No sleep otherwise. I'm feeling fine. And, uh, I'm quite thankful that it's windy and rainy because it's keeping me awake on this journey. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I think there's a pub nearby. You can get some food, get a drink, chill, have a relax. But uh, yeah, let's be chill a bit. So uh, slightly slower walk than planned, only because I was uh, on a call to the missus at the same time and also just trying to take some video. Um, it's... Well, quarter past four, and I've arrived at my chalet for the night. They've uh, given me a bottle of wine, some eggs, cookies, bread, jam, but the pub's up the road. So I think I know where I'm heading. I'm heading up the road to the pub. It's uh, it's just coming up to eight o'clock in the morning. It's a bit breezy out, and I'm about to make my way towards Inishmore Aerodrome for the start of my challenge.
it's actually not that cold out, or doesn't feel it at the moment. Um, about a 40 minute walk ahead of me. Let's get going. There's a bit more light here now, and the street lights are actually turning off. I'm right near the airport, and I can see it's just over there. And I can hear a cockerel going off in the distance. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna be picked up on the mic. And uh, the moon is just to the right of me. Over behind me, you can see the town that I've just come from. And uh, yeah, I'm here quite early for my flight. I think I'm probably here before anyone else has even opened up the airport, but that doesn't matter. Um, I can get some shots in. Well, it's still quite low light, but I'll try and get some shots in. I'm going to be cutting it really tight for my flight now. I need to be at my gate in about 45 minutes. Thank you. 